Hello my fellow, fellow of the Samurai players, the Rip here. And I'm going to cast a match between Colonel Bob and Gigi from a group A of Agony 101 Championship 2012 and this is a group stage, second group stage. And the first game was played on Chukoku River and uh, Colonel Bob and Gigi are the players who advance from the group A. Which is why I choose to cast their game. Uh, I don't have time to cast all the games, unfortunately. I have a life to live. Oh, I have a life to live. <laughs> okay then. Uh, what do we have here? Colonel Bob. It seems he brought a Millerage. Three Shoggy Tides with uh, three Chevrons and it seems uh, one upgrade in morale and two upgrades in attack. Three Spear Ladies, obviously Vanilla. Uh, Yaruki with level 4, Yaruki level 5, Imperial Guard Cavalry level 2, and it seems uh, speed upgrades, I think. Uh, Yaruki level seven, 6 and Yaruki level 6. Okay, and uh, he has some line contingent, Vermilion Bird Force with 2 Black Tortoise Forces with 2 Chevrons, 2 upgrades and reload, and uh, his general is. Bushida Jin with gun enabled, I think. Gigi here, old Luigi, how should we call him? With his yellow general. And this general is again Bushida Jin with uh, some points in gun. Well, one point in gun, three. And his cavalry are level 5 Shogun Guard Cavalry, which he uses uh, to cap uh, the workshop. Not the best idea, I think uh, using the cheapest cavalry possible to cap is the better idea. Okay, two Yariki with uh, four chevrons, a vanilla imperial guard uh, cavalry, and Yariki with seven chevrons here. Yariki with seven chevrons here. Yarikachi level four with two upgrades in attack and two in defense. Uh, two Shogitais level seven and uh, level two. And uh, three vanilla white beers. So mm, I would say Gigi have stronger cavalry force, uh, and uh, obviously Colonel Bob have stronger infantry force, uh, especially melee infantry force. And now Colonel starts skirmishing with his Imperial Guard cavalry, and at the same time Gigi sees the opportunity to charge this unit and in initial initial charge actually Colonel Bob's unit wins initial charge but then starts losing but now you see one unit of GG against basically three cavalry units of Colonel Bob and now he tries to charge this Imperial Guard cavalry again and y man Colonel Bob has a nice micro he keeps looking at this cavalry fight and you see GG already lost one cavalry unit and Colonel Bob lost none. And now yet again, this unit fights one against two. This unit fights one against two. So Colonel Bob managed to get local superiority on this area. And you see he already destroyed three cavalry units of GG and this Shogun Guard cavalry isn't even around. Oh man, this is... Oh, this is awful for Luigi. It's absolutely awful. Because all of his cavalry units getting zerked out <laughs> one by one. Uh, he didn't manage to get a uh, 4v4 fight, uh, for example. No, he didn't. Which is awful. And his Yariki uh, routes while still having over 100 men. They just route because they were attacked uh, from the back and because all the cavalry units of GG routing here. This is looking very bad for Gigi and now he's general taking some shots but managed to get out. Imperial Guard Cavalry of Colonel Bob didn't do that much. And now you see, he nicely zoned out this Shogunate Guard Cavalry. Mm. And runs back so now Gigi can't really get his uh, Shogunate Guard Cavalry in the back of uh, Colonel Bob. He's afraid of uh, these two shooting cavalry units, including the general. And 
quite in the middle starts, but uh, clearly advantage on Colonel Bob's side because this unit is in the forest and they have bad uh, uh, shooting stats. And he isn't, you see, he isn't really attacking with his Shogitais yet. He's waiting for this flanking force to get closer, for his cavalry to get into position. And only now his melee infantry in the middle starts moving. Very nicely done. So even though he has such a huge advantage at this point, he still plays it for sure. He plays very carefully, very cautiously, uh, leaving no chance for GG, I believe. Uh, and some small uh, raindrops. <laughs> what a rainbow! What a rainbow we see here. Now GG have to send his general and his Shungu Guard uh, cavalry to try and stop this cavalry advantage. And he does it nicely. He stops three cavalry units using only one, but overall... And you see this Imperial Guard cavalry didn't kill that much, but it played a very important role in this match. Just because it baited this uh, premature cavalry charge from GG. And uh, cavalry of GG were attacking one by one, one by one. And they were overwhelmed. Uh, so even thought he had stronger cavalry, he lost the cavalry fight. Nice done, Colonel Bob. Nice done. Well done. Nicely done. Nice done. Yeah, I was wrong. To use that word. So 1-0 for Colonel Bob. Uh, let's take a look. First look at final statistic. Even thought I don't think there is there would be anything interesting. This game was decided in that cavalry fight and uh, all these small things, you see how even thought GG had stronger cavalry, as I was telling, his Shogun Guard cavalry were out of the fight, capping the workshop for no reason. You c he could have sent uh, Yari Ki with four chevrons there or something. And his units were overwhelmed one by one, one by one. You don't want that. And, uh, okay then, Colonel Bob deployed uh, 400 more men, because of the Shogun Guard Cavalry, I believe, and because of uh, strong uh, Shogitai on GG part, but kill count says it clearly, Colonel Bob killed 200 men more. And what units were most effective? Yariki and line of line Shogitai. Nothing surprising here, so line engaged in a fight uh, first and uh, it was staying in the forest and it was a stronger line than the white beers of uh, Gigi and Gigi actually moved his white beers in, so he attacked. Uh, so clear line uh, fight win for Colonel Bob, clear cavalry fight win for Colonel Bob and uh, yeah, his infantry went in to clean things up. Uh, level 6 Shogitais for GG did really well. But it wasn't enough as we can see. And his Shogun Guard Cavalry in the end did very well. Just imagine, uh, imagine this unit uh, in a cavalry fight. How well would it do? Uh, could have done. Okay then, let's take a look at the next game. And here we go, second game between Colonel Bob and GG on flute plane. And let me call Colonel Bob just a Bob because it will be much easier for me. And GG, I think I will call him Luigi because it's his name and it's really much easier to pronounce to me. So flute planes, uh, let's take a look at uh, army composition. Yeah, I love this. Colonel Bob brought two Shogitai because they just good in this forest. Level 1, level 1, boss with upgrade scene. Don't tell me in morale. No, 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 it's attack upgrade. Okay, then, two vanilla spear levies. Mm, here, black tortoise force, vermilion dot force, royal marines, and uh, black tortoise force. I don't think this vermilion dot force is needed just because royal marines already provide all our needed. Uh, for example, Imperial Infantry would do would have much better shooting stats, 
but uh, would cost less without moral hour of course general is the same bushido gen with gun enabled yaruki level 5 yaruki level 6 yaruki level 6 yaruki level 4 and imperial guard cavalry again now for gg yaruki two yaruki with three chevrons yaruki with seven chevrons yaruki with seven chevrons and shugnut guard cavalry with five chevrons so strong cavalry contingent on the right flank and uh, quite a weak contingent on the on the left. His general it's some mix between gun and uh, uh, gun enabled and Bushi the gen overall. And you see these have a lot in uh, armor of general which I think is a waste of points uh, against gun guns at least. Blackberry infantry, but it works well if you plan to use your general against enemy's cavalry. Uh, revolver cavalry hidden here, Shugitai level 2. But, well, they're not really hidden because we can see them. <laughs> two units of revolver cavalry shown, and you see somehow, some sometimes you need to watch out for this little icon to know if your unit's really hidden or not, because they even thought they go walking. Instead of running, they still visible. White beers, white beers, and uh, black beer infantry. And it seems that Luigi wants to hit Colonel Bob on uh, this side. And but there is, and you see what uh, Colonel Bob does. Uh, he uses his spears to protect his uh, flank against stronger cavalry of Gigi. So he doesn't want, he sees that he have a range advantage in the middle, so he doesn't need, he doesn't plan to attack in the middle. And this is mistake I did again in my game against... Um, uh, <laughs> who, did, who did I play against? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I forgot already his name and he's such a good uh, fellow. Okay, I will... Yeah, that's because I'm thinking about this game. But that game where I charged two Shogitai through the middle, I shouldn't have done it. And you see, he doesn't plan to charge through the middle. He plans to use his Shogitai in defensive and he is, uh, tries to use his Royal Marines to attack using his range advantage. And here he tries to actually skirmish with his Imperial Guard ca Cavalry. Uh, Bob is very, very confident in his micro and uh, what is Luigi doing? He's abandoning this flank and it's already collapsing. He didn't react to this cavalry charge at all. Now he's charging his Shogitais but they will be stopped in the middle. Looking very bad. Now, now Gigi does the thing I did wrong. He charges his Shogitais through the middle where it's absolutely obvious that they will do nothing. And look at this two, two revolver cavalry. Decimating full unit of Spear Levy. No one even managed to route. But at the same time, he didn't do any good. Th he wasted four volleys on the Spear Levies. And what did he get? Uh, nothing really. Maybe this Vermilion Bird Force. And here in this forest fight, uh, Gigi actually managed to route Imperial Guard. No, he didn't. And yet again, somehow GG loses on all the sides. And that is because Bob didn't give him chance to coordinate his forces. GG attacked on the side where Bob was prepared to meet his cavalry. And he wasted uh, his revolver cavalry time shooting this Spear Levis and allowed this uh, Vermilion uh, Black Tortoise force to get uh, two volleys on his revolver cavalry. And man, this isn't... Uh, this, I would say, Luigi have to work on his coordination. He really have to. And Bob, he plays very well, knowing his strength, his strengths and his weaknesses. At least uh, from these games, it's obvious that he used his composition uh, just as he should. So it's 2-0, and Colonel Bob wins against Gigi. And now, without spoiling anything, I can tell that. 
Colonel Bob uh, advanced from the first place with 9 points and GG advanced from a second uh, place with only 5 points. Uh, so he need to train more on his coordination, I think. He need to think about his game plans a little bit better. Not, not the game plans, I think this time it's more about uh, managing uh, local fights better, maybe. He have some sort of a plan, but his forces move in uh, disarray. He, they doesn't does not support each other, and Colonel Bob attacks uh, with a perfect timing. It seems like he's going to defend, but he moves just a little bit, and uh, he throws uh, GG out of the balance in both games. In cavalry fight in first game, uh, in attacking this uh, weak left flank on GG in the second game. He just sees a weak point and immediately pushes it. Very well done. I I loved how he played this match. But obviously <laughs> I was rooting for Gigi because I know him uh, for quite a long time now. And uh, I'm glad he advanced and I hope he advanced uh, in playoffs as well. Uh, but I should say Colonel Bob was uh, one had... Um, a booth uh, in this match 300 man difference in uh, deployed uh, 300 man in losses but oh no it's actually kind of proportional oh no 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 <laughs> uh, sorry stupid thing I'm talking okay now so kills on the colonel bob side spread out uh, Yariki as usual one Yariki did well his royal marines did well and I like his playing style, this small infantry force with uh, stronger cavalry uh, and uh, low on spears actually. Very interesting. I like this mix. So all of his forces did some damage. Uh, uh, it wasn't any particular unit that uh, won him the game, but uh, coordination of all of his forces and uh, that nice push in the middle while uh, Gigi was managing his cavalry on... Uh, so, you see, Colonel Bob actually managed to uh, control uh, his rear, his flank and his uh, uh, front at the same time. Very well played. And Gigi, despite having such a high uh, kill count on this revol revolver cavalry, let's see, 150 kills is spear levy so it's this revolver cavalry didn't pay for for themselves uh, other 80 kills are vermil and bird forces so he kinda personally i would prefer to use them against uh, more expensive targets uh, to get rid of uh, cavalry of colonel bob maybe and other forces Failed, com failed completely. And you see, he had a uh, weaker line. He had uh, weaker infant melee infantry. So Gigi only had stronger cavalry and he didn't manage to use it. Which lost him the game. Okay then, 2-0 and uh, that's all for group A and I'm going for the group B now. See you later.